Guys, we Kenny did this so I could get exercise with my arm out. I, I, it's like a little putt putt course for me. Kenny even made him a little place where he could down. Um, Yay, he said. <laughs> I went, ooh, y'all don't want to see that. I went to the doctor today, guys, and uh, it's not a disc, but I've damaged my muscles real bad, and that's why they're swelling and tightening, and my neck kind of goes like this. Um, and I'm holding with the wrong arm because it really hurts when I do. That's how bad it hurts. He actually used the word excruciating. Um, and it is. Okay. It's not why I'm here to talk to you. We did go to the doctors, and this is where something happened. Um, I'm just going to tell you. The human race is waking up. We walked in on a conversation of, I'm not going to say political. It was just, <laughs> the government has to cease. One of them was with, uh, there was a man who was, he had to be 80 plus years old. He was from Germany. I suspect he was of Jewish descent, um, although he says we can't play victim games because some things empires just do, um, and he said, you know, kind of like here, he said a lot of people don't know, he was talking about American Indian history, and you know, the worst genocide probably, you know, and 700, six, well, 400 years was done here on this continent, um, and it still continues today. And, and I found that very honorable. Um, he said, and you guys don't play victim, you just want what was promised to you, and, and that's exactly what it is. And my mother was a part of that. Um, she was killed by the government. So it, it's still happening. Okay, anyway, if you see behind me the clouds, this is not chemtrails. Look how blue it is. This is regular puffy clouds. I have not seen this like in forever. Okay, so there's this conversation going on and there's a guy and this is kind of why I'm making this video. If the guy we said on the side uh, where you were talking to the man from Germany, if you watch our videos, what I, which I got the impression you might have because of the way you smiled and me and Kenny and stuff and then I moved across to get in on the conversation and you said please let her speak. Um, I was, um, if you do live, if you watch our videos, please send us a message because we would truly love to meet you. Um, you spoke articulate about the empire system and how we've got to get away from it. It's just an extension of what's been going on for thousands of years. And, and it's the same game. <clears throat> and, and the three of us all agreed, well, Kenny too, I, I'll say the four of us all agreed that, um, governments have to go it's the people who can change things and we can that's the whole thing i was with people that if shit hit the fan even though one was over 80 he looked in good health so did his wife um and the other guy looked like he was in good health and kenny if shit hit the fan at that moment we'd have probably had to help these people in this doctor's office including the doctor show them what to do <laughs> if we were stuck in that scenario um it was quite awesome um, I, I was ha I'm happy to say that this isn't the normal conversation you get in a doctor's office, but it was a loud conversation. I think <clears throat> they made it loud. I spoke loud too, just because they were, and everybody heard it. Um, a couple walked in and they left. They didn't like the conversation. They said they'd be right outside. And, um, I guess the conversation was probably over their head or scared them, but that is the way people feel. I, I you know, here, here was a place where people probably shouldn't have been talking. You're at a neurologist. This isn't a good place to be. And people were talking about things that are so important and not the, out of the consensus, even someone else came in and got in on the conversation. He had voted for Obama. He, I believe, I think he believes in a central government because he thinks everything would be chaos. You know, the, the other, me, Kenny, um, the guy who is sitting right down from us, and the old man all said government. We don't need governments, just local councils or something, you know. And then we trade with other people. And it's just getting back to where our ancestors came from and never let it get like this again because... All of us agreed unanimously, they're destroying the earth. 
period, point blank, down with radiation, with everything, the earth is being destroyed. And if the earth is destroyed, we're dead. I mean, that's the big picture. You know, we have got to take care of the planet we live on. And I'm not seeing being... Um, get rid of people because we we're an accessory I mean we we are part of this planet we've got to be here too without us I don't think I've seen documentaries that say oh look how wonderful the earth would be without humans actually it probably wouldn't be because we're stewards of the earth and we do do some things to help animals and plants um, so this is what I'm saying it, it, some of us do some of us don't some of us will go pour shit in a river which shame on you um, I, I'm just, we've got to start cleaning up this earth so we can survive on it. And we all agreed that wars are all resource based and we pit brother against brother or use religion. We use all kind of things. And, and yes, people do buy into it. They think it's serious and it, it isn't. Hey, you guys quit chasing the chickens. Um, but, um, it was, it was, a. It, I just wanted to say people are waking up in this Washington state. I just saw, like I was talking to you guys out there on YouTube that I know feel the same way. The other guy who had voted for Obama thought central government would be good because it, without it, people would, it would be chaos and anarchy. And I, I actually told him to go look the word up, anarchy, in a very nice way. I don't think he knew what he was talking about. It sounded like he was parroting an alternative media station some of us don't like, um, a fear person. And you can't live in fear. That's just straight up, can't do it. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Um, I've just sat here and babbled because I was very excited. I've never walked into a doctor's office and had such an enlightening conversation from every spectrum. I mean, from a guy from Germany. And like I said, I, I suspect he was Jewish. And... Um, uh, he's against what the Jewish people are doing to the Palestinian. He thinks everyone has a right to be here um, and live. He doesn't think there's a super race. He thinks like I do. We all complement each other. We all need each other. And, um, you know, that's that's awesome. When you know, And he's even went back to Germany. He, the one thing he said he doesn't like about Germany now is the new youth. The youth is... Um, he said they're out for blood, and doesn't matter who's that's his that's his opinion. He he found the young people quite rude in Germany um, at this point, but he understands the financial situations there too. He believes everybody should get self sufficient. Me too. I love you guys. I'm going to quit rambling. I just wanted to tell you that I don't know what's going on, but lately, everywhere I'm going, gone lately, it seems people are waking up. And that, to me, is such awesome sign. That's what I wanted to see. And, and one more thing. That's like everybody thought cowboy and Indians hated each other. And some cowboys, or wannabe cowboys, still do. Seem to not like um, the American Indians. Uh, however, there's a CIA, the Cowboy Indian Alliance. They've been planning this for a while. And they got together and did a protest in Washington. And... They are going, they're sitting there, and there's people in the Canadian side sitting there of the CIA, Cowboy Indian Alliance, um, with the American Indians and ranchers, which they're calling themselves cowboys, to stop the Keystone Pipeline. I know people say jobs, 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 and I say destruction, 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 because it destroys our earth, it, it pollutes our water, and then you can't drink the water, you're not going to live. If there's no drinkable water, you're just not going to live. So, um... Uh, things are happening good. People are waking up. Like I said, the CIA, Cowboy Indian Alliance is happening. That is awesome. Look it up. It is just a wonderful thing happening. People are waking up. Oh, oh, one more thing. I'll be doing that book. I'm, I think I'll start it tomorrow or the next day. Um, I have to go to physical therapy tomorrow, which <sighs> that'll be painful. And then Wednesday, I think I'll do start doing pages out of that book. I'll just start state by state. If nobody knows what I'm talking about, it is a book on um, relocating to a safer place. So, um, and what's around your area and stuff. So I will start probably with the first state that I come to. Anyway, love everybody. Hope you're doing well. Been watching everybody's videos. If I haven't commented much, there's a reason. Um, the arm, I am a right-handed person and that is a side that's messed up and sometimes even typing hurts and using the mouse because it makes this muscle 
if this muscle does anything really, it's hard. So um, if you're not seeing a lot of information from me or stuff, it's just because I'm hurting. I'm still here. Love you guys. Bye.